Hello and welcome all you football fans for another installment of High School Football on YSNLive.com. My name is Ty Bartell taking you through with the call of all the action between these two teams from two different states. The Austintown Fitch Falcons in their home opener hosting in the Central Valley Warriors 2020 and 2021 state champs in Pennsylvania with two undefeated seasons. This is a team with two losses in the last three years, four losses in the last four years, and a another big time tested opponent coming into Austin Town this year. Week number two of the OHSAA high school football season. Falcons 1-0 and on the year beating Euclid last week 48-6 in Euclid as Central Valley first game actually week zero for them technically coming over the state lines to compete here in Ohio. Austin Town Fitch won the initial coin toss. They elected to defer so Anthony Ruggles set to kick off for the Falcons. Central Valley back ready to return. Looks like Mason Dixon along with Aaron Lawson. Two back to return. Dixon, primary returner. New bleachers being utilized here at Greenwood Chevrolet Stadium. They worked on it over the course of the summer and got it ready here for the home opener in week two. Ruggles checks off with his team. He's ready. And we're ready. One of five contests to be held at this stadium this year. As Ruggles boots it away, and we are underway. And that one going to go right into the end zone. A touchback, no movement on the special teams play. So bring the Warriors out, Central Valley, as they get ready to start on offense. Quarterback for the Warriors, Stephen Rutherford. Junior stands in at 5'11", 168. Primary backs, uh, Mason Dixon. J.J. Work, Dixon a junior, Work a sophomore. Out of the shotgun, three receivers set, single back in the backfield. The handoff, running initially, getting the edge. Nice run off the gut. Near side, they move the chains. First play, a first down. Rutherford, again out of the shotgun, this time four receivers back on his right hip. Back to that ground game. No, they fake it, play action, roll out to the right, get some opening, has some yardage, and about halfway to the first down, a little more as a seven-yard gainer, as Rutherford made a nice read, rolled out to his right, and a nice gain, second down and short coming up. About two yards to go. Central Valley team that can pack quite a punch on offense. Sending one into motion. Jerovac back to the ground game. Up the middle, it's a first down once again. Just power running and it pays off. As Ethan Shearer Running back that time, gets the first. Nearing the 50 now already are the Warriors as they try to venture into Fitch territory. Taking the snap, the handoff into the pile, fighting for some yardage, but the smallest gain of the drive gets Central Valley to the 50. It's second down. Second down and seven to go. As Central Valley keeping it on the ground, staying patient, working it up the field, using power running. Mixed in a play action run as well. Rutherford sends one into motion. 
Takes the high snap, looks to his left, chased out that way, makes the pass into the flat, tackled nicely though. Few yards past the 50, third down coming up for the Warriors. Falcons do a good job defensively pushing it that way, not allowing running room on the edges, closing it up, sealing it up, forcing third down, first of this drive. Needing about four yards to get the first, Central Valley. In Falcon territory, again out of the shotgun. The snap, the handoff, up the pile, pushing bodies very close. Did he get it? I believe they're saying move the chains. Let's double check. And they are saying move the chains as the pile clears. First down, Warriors, as they inch closer into Falcon territory. Plenty of games on the network tonight. Tune in to our live page, ysnlive.com slash live to get the full game list. Faking on the handoff, looking to pass. Toss is tipped and broken up. Nice job that time defensively. As that looked to be Alex Hill, sophomore. Breaking up the pass, second down and 10 coming up. First pass, or second pass attempt, or rather, excuse me, on the drive. First incompletion for the Warriors. Second down, 10 to go. Back to that ground game. A little trip initially, but still wound up getting about four. And third down coming up. Second consecutive time in this drive. 9.15 and ticking to go here in this first quarter of play. Central Valley has worked this drive all the way to the Falcon 40. Looking to add some points to the scoreboard and cap it off. Rutherford takes the snap, goes handoff, no, fakes it. Goes to the pass into the flat, cut off and tackled before the first down marker. Fourth down coming up now for the Warriors, but decision, decision time. As it's going to be fourth and short, what do they elect to do? See the big back. And Mason Dixon, that has emerged from the bench. Dixon, power runner. Central Valley looking for three yards. They go to the handoff on the three options. The tackle is, flags are coming in late. Close to the first down marker. We'll also have to see what the penalties are addressed to. They came following the play and the tackle. We'll have to see, that could be a face mask. As we get the call. And it's against the Falcons, so first down anyway, Central Valley pushes themselves forward into Falcon territory. And this one should put them right at the cusp of the red zone. Couple yards inside of it, they're shy of the 15 yard line at the 16. Central Valley looking for pay dirt and the initial score of the game. Hand off that time. Try to go to the outside, able to get close to the 10. Nice gain on first. Second down coming up. Rutherford. The snap again with the handoff. Up the middle they go with it. Close to the first, but I think they got him just shy. Third down coming up. Eating up a lot of time this opening drive. Almost five minutes elapsed here in the first quarter with this drive of the Warriors. Needing two yards to get the first eight yard line. Pardon me, seven yard line. 
the first down marker. Breaking the huddle, set up. Fourth down now, up the middle. Do they get it? Yes, they do to the five. First down once again, fourth down conversion, second of the drive for the Warriors. As Central Valley staying patient with their approach. With the run game being a heavy offensive weapon, all oh, rolled outside on the fake out. He'll walk in. Rutherford with the touchdown, 6 0. Central Valley to start. And that one booted and through, making it 7 nothing. So the Central Valley Warriors do a good job with a lot of run plays, only mix in a pair of passing plays the whole drive and end up with 7 on the board to start. As the touchdown has put Central Valley up seven to nothing over Austin Town now. Falcons about to get their first try on the offensive side. As the Warriors ready to kick it away. Both Davion Pritchard, Dan Evans the third back to return the kickoff. Kicking it away, Benjamin Schur. And Schur's kick taken in near the 15, Davion Pritchard. Oh, speeding through the pile. Davion Pritchard said, I'll take that seven right back on one play. I don't even need the offense to touch the field. Davion Pritchard to the house. And a touchdown right back at you. The speed of Davion Pritchard and Dan Evans the third cannot be matched. Two of the fastest guys in all of Northeastern Ohio, and they prove it that they're dangerous not only as receivers, but also as returners as Pritchard puts the Falcons a point within Central Valley as extra point pending. Anthony Ruggles set to take it. Ready for the boot. Snap is misplayed as Ruggles has to roll out to his right. Nowhere for him to go. Knocked out of bounds. So Central Valley going to maintain their lead as the miss snap goes awry and nothing to be made of it for the Falcons. So 7-6 to six, Warriors with the lead. But the Falcons with a quick strike touchdown right back on special teams. And now we have another kickoff coming up.
So back-to-back -back strikes. Six minutes, 20 seconds were left on the clock when Central Valley scored their touchdown. 6.08 left after a touchdown from Fitch and a kickoff coming. Warriors ready to return. As Ruggles breaks the huddle with his special teams unit. That one booted away. And backed up near the one, hauling it in. Trying to find a seam of their own, but tackled past the 20, near the 25 is where Central Valley going to start their second drive of the game. A patient and persistent drive sums up the first initial drive of the game for the Warriors, utilizing a lot of ground attacks. And maintain control in the trenches. They look to do much of the same this time around. Falcons did hold the Warriors to two fourth downs, but the Warriors did a great job converting not only thirds, but also two fourth downs. But that first play, a running play, goes nowhere. Second down coming up. Falcons donning the all-red home uni. Central Valley in the all-white away with the Columbia blue and navy blue trim. Back on that right hip of Rutherford. Snap, handoff, looking for the gap not to be had. Swallowed up nicely, Falcons not allowing any running room this time. Third and long coming up now. Third down. Ten yards needed. Falcons looking for a fourth. Central Valley looking to convert once again, but before they do so, timeout to be called as Coach T.J. Parker of the Austin Town Fitch Falcons wants to discuss it over. As he does, we're going to take a real quick break as well on the network. Be back after this. 21 News delivers the news as it happens using the latest technology from where it happens. On air, online, a Wednesday afternoon weather update, very dangerous, and on the 21 News social media platforms. I'm on the road right now. 21 News, the Valley's only locally owned source for trusted news since 1953. Welcome back, everybody. Third down, 10 to go for Central Valley. Falcons looking for a fourth. Trying to convert once again. Warriors back to Bass. Rutherford looking deep, goes short, knocked away. Falcons secondary denies it. Fourth down coming up. So Fitch, after suffering the long drive of Central Valley the first time around, cuts him down in just three plays and forces the punt. Punter, back for Central Valley, that's 39 Antonio Perry. And now a timeout called by the Warriors. So Perry, gonna have to wait on the punt attempt. You gotta figure though, when you look at 
how the last kickoff went. Granted, it's a punt return, not a kickoff return, but nonetheless, Coach Lyons for the Warriors wants to make sure everything's shored up on special teams. Everyone has their assignments, and no quick special team touchdown occurs this time around. Important to note the wind blowing towards Central Valley, so they will be kicking into the wind. Perry will be set up back near the 10-yard line. 4.49 to go, first quarter. Perry takes the snap, boots it away. It will take a bounce near the 50, roll out near the 45-yard line. And the Falcons to start off with solid field position, five yards shy of midfield. Falcons, first time their offense has been on the field today. Led by quarterback Deshaun Vaughn Jr. Running back DJ Williams on his right hip, trips to near side to his right. Snap, handoff, Williams trying to get something started. Nice hit that time by the Warriors, stuck him at the line of scrimmage, second down. So the first down run play goes for no gain. Second and 10 now coming up. Spread things out a little bit more. Three receiver options, two to the right, one to the left. And the snap. The shovel to Williams' way. Williams tries to get the outside. Stumbled a bit. Did get a gain, but a minimal one of maybe three. Third and seven as the Falcons at risk of going three and out right back. Both teams get a score, and then the defense kicks their amps up to 11. Third down, seven needed. Vaughn with the snap, looking to pass. Rolling out to his right, throws a seed, and it's high and off the hands that time of the intended receiver, Brady Evans. Fourth down coming up, and a quick three and out. We'll put the ball back in the hands of the Warriors. Anthony Ruggles out to punt for Fitch. Stationed a couple yards in front of the Falcon 35. As that punt, nice punt by Ruggles as it takes a bounce near the one, but does end up into the end zone. So almost a perfect punt, but couldn't get it to stay within the five. It'll travel in and a touchback. Now for the Warriors, they'll get the ball brought back out towards the 20. Rutherford goes handoff. No, gets the passing opportunity, and the flag is thrown. Rutherford does such a good job of selling that fake out on play action, but penalty going to be addressed to the Falcons, I believe. I think they're calling a hold, defensive holding on Fitch. And that is what's going to be addressed, so push the Warriors forward. A 
Wide receiver Marcus Lawson's also checked into the game. Seven to six, Central Valley leading it. Three minutes, four seconds to go here in quarter number one. A missed extra point, the difference in this one. Lawson on the jet sweep, got the ball, and he will lose some yardage there as Lawson tried to find the outside. Fitch didn't give it to him and actually backed the Warriors up. Loss of yardage, second and long now coming up. Needing 14 to get to the Warriors 40, the first down marker. Rutherford starting with a three receiver set, two to his right, one to his left, single back in the backfield, that's Dixon. As Dixon gets the ball for the handoff, fights his way forward close to the original line of scrimmage. He's going to be stopped about a yard and a half, maybe two shy of that. Third down and long coming up for the Warriors. Rocco DeFlorio in on that last tackle. He was huge in week one. Third down coming up. Minute 40 left to go in the quarter. Rutherford out of the shotgun. The snap looking to pass. Few step drop and off the hands that time of his intended target. That looked to be for Central Valley. That looked to be number 24, Jance Henry. But no catch to be had. Falcons doing a really good job cutting off the running lanes after that first initial drive. As a second consecutive fourth down, three and out brought up. After the initial penalty of holding. Back behind the 15. Punt gets hauled in near the 50. Nice quick move, but even nicer defense and reinforcements by Central Valley, not allowing any running room for Dan Evans the third, And they really executed that well and just not allowing the speedy wide out and speedy return man to get any sort of green in front of him. Cut off all lanes and held him towards midfield. But second drive consecutive, the Falcons offense will start near midfield. They weren't able to get across the 50 the first time. They look to do so here. Minute 19 to go, quarter number one. Vaughn fakes the pass, went handoff, and again, not much running room to be had. Second down and 10 coming up. Ethan Schur in on the tackle that time for Central Valley. We're under the final minute to play here in quarter number one. Second down and 10. The snap, looking to pass, quick pass, and a nice target find that time, close to the first, but it'll bring, bring up third down as Dan Evans, the third, gets the reception and about eight on the catch. Now on the Central Valley, 43-yard line. Falcons looking for the 41 for a first. Under center and waiting until the end of the quarter is Deshaun Vaughn not taking the snap. So that'll bring us to the end of quarter number one. Central Valley holds a slim one-point advantage, seven to six, 
after 12 minutes of play here at Greenwood Chevrolet Stadium in Austin Town. We'll be back with the start of the second quarter after this. <laughs> Coca's Pizza, your high school football headquarters. Come to pregame with half off select appetizers in our dining room starting at 5 p.m. Also want to stay for the game? We'll be playing it live. That's Coca's Pizza. We serve it hot. Welcome back, everybody. Start of the second quarter now here in Austin Town. As Vaughn goes handoff, nice initial move. Williams bulldozes his way forward to get the first. That cut of Williams was beautiful, and it's what bought the Falcons a fresh set of downs now past the Central Valley 40. First down for Fitch. Stationed near the 37. Call it the 38. First and 10, screen pass goes far side, looking for running room, has some near the first down again, as it'll likely be marked second and short. And they do mark them down second and about a yard needed for a first. Wasting little time. Faking on the ground game, back to the screen pass. Again, the completion, again, the first down. Falcons now. On the edge of the Central Valley red zone. First and ten for Fitch at the twenty. Fake on the handoff, taking it himself. Vaughn, oh, look at the moves. Vaughn gets five himself. Bobbing and weaving in through the line. He actually might have gotten closer to six or seven when all is said and done. Let's see where they mark him. So the five-yard gain. Second and five to go now. Falcons, no doubt, in field goal territory, but... Not even thinking about that. Dan Evans takes the screen pass. Good blockers up front. Evans gets past the 10, and it's first and goal for Fitch. Falcons. Picking up a pair of first downs, setting up first and goal, looking for their first lead of the game. Under 10 to play here in half number one. Vaughn takes the first snap, looks for an opening. Can't get the slip, nice tackle that time as J.J. Work put the work on Vaughn with the tackle for a second down coming up. Lost a yardage on the play. Brings up second. Falcons able to get a little bit of running room this drive, but have really had their bread buttered in the screen passing game. For target option, they go to the running back, Williams. Williams just rolls off a tackler inside the five for third down. So decisions, decisions now here for Austin Town. 
inside the five or right at the five. Could go for it on fourth, depending on what happens on third. Let's see what the play call is. Trips to the right of Vaughn, single receiver to his left. That's DJ Williams on his right hip. The handoff goes to Williams. Williams finds the hole. Williams keeps fighting. He's close. No signal yet from the near side. Touchdown is called as touchdown confirmed. Falcons in front. 12 to 7, Austin Town with their first lead of the game. And it's on a DJ Williams rushing touchdown. Back for the extra point, Anthony Ruggles. Falcons missed the extra point attempt last time on a muffed punt, or a muffed, I should say, snap. Couldn't get it down in time as Ruggles was forced to just try to make something happen with it. No issues this time around as he puts it through the uprights. 13 to seven, Fitch in front. So that touchdown takes us to the 835 mark here of quarter number two as the Falcons in front for their first time today. Central Valley special teams unit out ready for the return. After Anthony Ruggles punched the extra point through the uprights, he's back ready for the kickoff. Nice crowd on hand tonight despite the weather, nasty weather that came rolling through Northeast Ohio last night. Credit to these crews that got all these fields in good condition. You always have to worry about electricity issues as well as slipping that time as Mason Dixon was bringing back the return. Whether he slid or himself or just lost the balance, he gets stopped near the 20 and that's where Central Valley will start on offense. Well, after a really well-sustained drive, their first offensive possession of the game that ended with six points plus the extra, Central Valley went three and out two straight times to Fitch, looking to get back in the green offensively. And they started on the ground game, and a nice run will set them up on second down and short with two yards needed. They get to that first down marker just in between the 30 and 31 yard line of the Warriors. Rutherford takes the high snap, goes back to the handoff. That time though, the Falcons don't allow much running room and stop it near the line. No, they're saying moving the chains, excuse me, as the extension, last second, able to get past the chains, first down Central Valley. We got the near side that was initially motioning, I thought, fourth, but far side official said move the chains, was given the pointer. First down Central Valley, their first since the first drive, snap. And tackle right away, too. They snuffed out the run and held it to a minimal gain of about a yard and a half. Third 
Important to note, Austintown Fitch to receive the second half kickoff as they won the toss, deferred to the Warriors to start this game. Seven minutes to go, half number one. Rutherford with a second down, eight to go. Back to the ground game, no, they went play action. Going for the deep ball, not to be had as an incomplete pass brings up third. Another third down for the Warriors, looking to convert. Needing about eight yards to that 40 yard line. Five step drop, chased out, has to make the play on the run, broken up nicely, but the flag comes in. Last second, and I think they're gonna tag this one on Deontay Stallings, who came in to break up the pass. Let's see though. Flag also came from the far side. Let's see. Crown of the helmet leading with they charge Central Valley with the penalty. So even if it is a face mask, I believe offsetting penalty is going to be occurring here. Because the crown of the helmet was initial towards the Warriors from our lead official and the crew tonight. Double check as he's going to confirm it once again. Yes. And penalty declined, so no offsetting penalties, just a penalty addressed to Central Valley, leading with the crown of the helmet, fourth down coming up now. So the Warriors back to punt, third consecutive drive, ending in a punt now for Central Valley. Snap was low, able to recover it and boot it away. It'll take a nice bounce at the 45. Looking for some room, but gets swallowed up. That time was Junie Higgs. Higgs able to haul it in, but Central Valley brought the reinforcements in quicker than a bullet to make sure no additional yardage was given. 6.35 to go here in half number one. Falcons to get the ball back. Again with solid field position, Fitch leading it by six and a chance to add on to their advantage. Falcons, Deshaun Vaughn goes with the screen pass. Actually, it's a trick play, and it is hauled in almost. An interception, I believe. It was right there and up for the taking for both the receiver and the quarter that time, but it ends up an incomplete pass. Falcons have attempted those type of trick plays before. I believe that was Davion Pritchard that it was fed off to, and he tried to uncork it from the far sideline of the field. But all that for naught, second down and 10 now coming up. Snap handoff goes to Williams. Williams got some running room, nice trip up, but he's still on his feet, bulldozing forward near the first. Williams refused to go down. As the couple Warriors tried to bring him down, they did, but not before he did capture the first. Just shy of the midfield, Falcons. And the snap, the handoff again. They try to go to Williams. No running room to be had. Central Valley closes up any gaps up the middle. Second down and 10 coming up. Central Valley, part of the Section 14A football out in Pennsylvania, part of the Whippeal. And 
Colton Vaughn. Fakes the shovel pass, keeps himself, can't find any running room, gets chased out. He goes for the edge and pushed out of bounds. That was a nice job of Vaughn turning nothing into something because that was a loss of yards for sure. Had he not gotten out of that and broken for the sideline, he's able to get it back to the original line of scrimmage, but third and long coming up now as Central Valley trying to get the ball back. Under five and a half to play in the half. 5.25 to be exact. Falcons spreading things out. Four receivers set, two each way. Single back in the backfield with Vaughn. Takes the drop, looks for the pass. Did he haul it in? Far sideline, they say no catch. No, they do say the catch. Oh, he hauled it in. Was waving the hands. I thought they meant no catch, but they signal hauling it in. First down grab. And a third down conversion for Austin Town. Quickly right back on the offensive ground game. Flag comes out near side of the field. And this one might be coming back. Let's listen in. Not really. Well, we know it's against Central Valley <laughs> from that motion. I, not really a, a signal on what the penalty was on, but the point goes towards Central Valley from our lead official. And they're moving this thing forward. So confirmation from the press box. Too many men on the field for Central Valley. So they had that 12th man sneak on the field. Can't do that. And they made sure they addressed the penalty too. Didn't really give a signal for it, but we got our crew up here in the press box at Greenwood Chevrolet Stadium to help us out. First down running play doesn't get the new set of downs. So second and short coming up. Falcons needing about three for the first. Under five minutes to play in the half. Both teams with two timeouts left. On the ground game, oh, brushed through it. Oh, look at DeAndre Richard said, get off of me. Touchdown, freshman DeAndre Richard into the end zone. Second rushing touchdown of the game. For the Falcons, and the lead extends. And DeAndre Richard gets the big hug from DJ Williams, the senior back, the second he made it over to the Falcon bench. As Richard had a touchdown at last week, his first of his high school career, wastes little time getting his second here in week two. What a run. Caps off the touchdown, looking to add the extra point. Ruggles splits the uprights. It's good, 20-7 to seven Fitch. So the Falcons, after taking the initial touchdown and falling to Central Valley 7 to nothing in this game, have rattled off 20 straight, taking a 13-point lead with 4.47 to go in the half.
So following the DeAndre Richard rushing touchdown, the Falcons leading it 20 to seven. The kickoff takes a trip into the end zone. It'll be a touchback and Central Valley to have it brought out to the 20. When you look at the home matchups for the Falcons this year, it's some of the best of the best, including the Central Valley team being brought in. Teams at the likes of St. Ignatius, Maslin, Washington, just to name a few. Rutherford goes to the handoff. Central Valley trying to start tempo on the ground, and they'll get a nice gain of about five yards on the carry. Back to the ground and stuck that time near the line of scrimmage. Third down coming up. A rain-like mist has been blowing throughout the atmosphere since about 20 minutes into this game. Hasn't derailed either of these teams, though. Chased out immediately, breaking out, rolling to his right. Rutherford looking for a seam. First down, he got it. Good job of improvisation that time by the Central Valley QB, Stephen Rutherford, as he buys himself enough time and then eventually just says, ah, heck with it, I'll take it myself, and gets the first down. At the 45-yard line now, Warriors trying to get some points back before the half. Sending one into motion. Snap a little high. Handoff goes up the middle and near the 50-yard line where he's going to be stopped. Gain of about five once again. Second down coming up. Second and five, Rutherford. Back to the ground game. Bumping and bruising off of bodies and carrying some forward. Nice strength and display of it by Brandon Singleton. Brandon might have had a single ton of human bodies on his back as he carried it forward for a first. 39-yard line of Fitch, Central Valley. Under three to go in the half, back to the ground. Nothing to be had that time. No gain, second and 10 coming up. Second and 10, under two and a half in the half. Rutherford takes the snap, hands it off. And that one just trying to get some yards back, but only about a yard or two to be had. It looked like Jance Henry that took in the carry. Third down and about nine to go. And don't forget, folks, Stay tuned for our halftime shows with both the Central Valley High School and the Austintown Fitch High School marching bands to be here on YSNlive.com. Third down play, looking for the outside run, gets past the 35-yard line, but will be shy of the first. Fourth down coming up, needing about four. 
Minute 36, we'll see if timeouts start becoming a factor. Both teams have two to play with. Fourth down coming up. They're going for it on the ground, trying to carry some bodies. It's a first down for the Warriors. Big first down for Central Valley. Still looking for some points before the half. Falcons trying to keep them from six and hold them to a three. Warriors looking for pay dirt for their second time. Went with the option run, couldn't find any yards. And timeout going to have to be called after the run play. Central Valley takes it at four ticks over a minute left in this game. As Coach Lyons will be left with just the single timeout in the half. Two left for Fitch. We'll take one as well here on YSNLive.com. We'll be right back. We insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. HVAC causing havoc? Has your furnace gone mad? Commercial or residential 24-7? Call your hometown hero. Call Mighty Mike. Welcome back, everybody. Out of the timeout. Central Valley with a second and ten. Coming up, they have one timeout left. Only a minute four. They're going for the big pass into double coverage. Oh, what a pick in the end zone! Dan Evans, the third, comes up with it and bring it back out to the 20. The ball hawking ability of DE3 cannot be underestimated as he comes up with an INT first of the season after a big touchdown in the wide receiver game last week. Falcons now two timeouts, 57 seconds to work with. Plenty of time with an aggressive T.J. Parker offense. We'll see if he elects to be aggressive in this drive or just take the 13-point lead into half. Falcons come up with a wide spread out, four receiver set, single back backfield. Looking to pass, options all around, want to go to Williams, but a drop in the backfield on the screen pass attempt, second down coming up. <laughs> 53 seconds left on the clock. Warriors with one timeout, Falcons with two. Again, same set for Fitch. This time, fake on the handoff for play action. They get it to the outside and get out of bounds. Gain some yardage as DE3, Dan Evans the third takes the reception for about half the yardage needed, but third down coming up. See what the Falcons like to do. Trips formation, and that one gets away, having to just jump on it. And hold on to it is Deshaun Vaughn near the five. And that was almost a nightmare situation for Austintown on the missed snap. That's the second snap that has gone awry. From Austintown today, they had one occur on special teams, one on offense now, and no doubt near the 10. Fitch just going to punt it away. But the problem is now Central Valley, 42 seconds left. With a timeout, they'll have a chance to take some shots to the end zone, likely going to get good field position from wherever this punt ends up. So the Warriors might have had a fresh shot or two to the end zone coming up now. 
Anthony Ruggles likely going to be tasked with getting as much boot underneath this ball as he can. He will be punting from his own end zone. As the punt, nice boot by Ruggles. He'll have it bounce at the 45 and make its way out past the 50. So back into Central Valley territory, Warriors going to need to have to get at least a first down or two if they want to get themselves in any sort of field goal range. But you got to feel if they're going for a touchdown, you got to get either one play to eat half the distance, take a timeout, or you could take a couple shots towards the end zone here. But that's a, that's a whale of a pass that you're going to be trying to make from behind the 50. Four receivers set. Rutherford will roll out to his right in the play action. Has open running room in front of him to get to the 40 of Fitch and get out of bounds. First down Central Valley. 28 seconds left. Clock will tick as the change will be set. Rutherford, the snap, looking again for the pass, stays in the pocket, breaks out of it, holds the pass attempt, and again gets out of bounds, trying to stop the clock. 22 seconds left in the half. But it's second down now, and about seven needed for the first. Still have that timeout to play with as well. Or excuse me, no timeout to play with for Central Valley. Correction on that. Two timeouts left to play with for Austin Town. Stays in the pocket and right through the hands. A misplay that time. Jurovac was the intended target, but no reception to be had. Third down coming up. 17 seconds left to go. Third down, nine needed. Low snap, five-step drop, going short route that time. Jerovac gets the reception, tiptoes down the line. Nine seconds left, and he's going to be right at the cusp of the red zone. I believe inside the 25. Let's see where they place him. Actually, right at the 25, exactly on the line. Nine seconds leaves you room to make one play likely, and they're going to go for the field goal. So this is going to be a 42-yard attempt. And timeout going to be called as Austin Town Fitch had two. They're going to elect to use one and talk things over before this field goal attempt is underway. 20 to 7 Fitch leads it. We'll be back with this special team's field goal attempt after this. Nestled here in the beauty and splendor of Mill Creek Metro Parks are two of America's best golf courses, as selected by Golf Week magazine. Ranked number nine in Ohio by TripAdvisor. Come play like a pro on these award-winning Donald Ross designed courses. Enjoy a round with your kids and unwind with your favorite food and drinks in the grill room. For championship golf, look no further than your backyard. Mill Creek Golf Course. We of course thank our friends over at the Mill Creek Parks Golf Course as we got a field goal attempt here at Greenwood Chevrolet Stadium, Central Valley trying to make this a 10 point game. The kick is away and it is off the mark. No good, three seconds reads on the clock before the end of the half, but the Falcons to get the ball back. I would imagine Neil here, but 
We've seen stranger things from a TJ Parker led offense. Deshaun Vaughn Jr., Falcons quarterback, has done a good job managing the game, but it's really been the rushing attack. DJ Williams, DeAndre Richard, each with a touchdown tonight. And as well as special teams unit in Davion Pritchard with the kickoff return, the first kickoff for Fitch returning today for a touchdown. So goes for the Neal. Vaughn will take it, and that'll do it for half number one here in Austintown. The Falcons take an initial punch from Central Valley, trail this one 7 nothing early on, but respond with 20 unanswered points to take a 13-point lead into the locker room for the halftime. As we said to folks coming up for halftime, the show going to be put on by both the Central Valley Warriors as well as the Austin Town Fitch Falcons marching band. And how about that? Peep number 62 for Central Valley. Joshua Donnell, one of the football players, but he's also in the band, so you're going to get to see him participate with the Central Valley marching band. And another one, too. We got a few of them as well. It looks like number 45 as well for Central Valley and Benjamin Schur, the kicker, as well. So again, folks, please enjoy both the Warriors and the Falcons marching band for this halftime show.
sorry, passing by again.
action continues with the color guard presentation of the American flag as the band concludes with our national march, the stars and stripes forever. Twenty-one News delivers the news as it happens, using the latest technology from where it happens. Live here outside the Mahoney County. On air, online. The Wednesday afternoon weather update. Very dangerous. And on the Twenty-one News social media platforms. I'm on the road right now. Twenty-one News, the Valley's only locally owned source for trusted news since 1953. Craftsmanship to us is 60 years of pride and dedication. Passed down from generation to generation. The hardwood floors that your kids take their first steps on. The solid wood doors you quietly close at night. The things we create day in and day out are the products that end up turning your house into a home. At Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, uncompromising quality and craftsmanship built our business. And it will keep us moving forward for generations to come. Going the extra mile at Greenwich Chevrolet means we want to take care of the community that takes care of us too. And we have to work together always. And that's how you stay in business for 40 years. You know, I, I love being a helper because when I help somebody, it makes me feel good. It uh, means a lot that I can make a difference in others' lives. So I will do everything I can and just being there for them every step of the way. I want them to know within the first five minutes that, that they could depend on me. That's what going the extra mile means only at Greenwich Chevrolet. Before the lights come on, before the workday begins, before a long day is ended, or it's time to have fun, it all starts with the people at Joe Dickey Electric. From replacing a light fixture in your home to building a substation for your business, no job is too big or too small. The people of Joe Dickey Electric power them all. Joe Dickey Electric, over 60 years of powering the Mahoning Valley. Hi, this is Zell Bush. Hi, this is Tom Flynn. Hi, this is Steve Rossetto. Hi, this is Ryan Miller. Hi, this is Rich Satui from WRS Wealth Advisors. With our combined 80 years of experience, WRS Wealth Advisors are the area's premier wealth and retirement specialists. Call 330-965-0370 to learn more about our individual and corporate financial planning services. Or visit WRSWealth.com. Go Raiders. 
Go dogs. Go cats. Go dogs. Go tigers. You're not waiting to see what the world has in store for you. It's more about what you have in store for the world. All you need is the opportunity. All you need are the resources of a large university and the advantages of a personalized academic setting where you can experience new worlds in the arts and sciences, business and education and make them your own. We are where you shape your future. We are Youngstown State University and proud. We believe expectations are made to be exceeded. At the new Toyota of Warren, it's about more than just getting a great deal. It's about service you can count on and a friendship you can trust. Year after year, we've done what we do best. We've gone the extra mile so you could too. Because we know it's just not about buying a new car. It's the start of a new adventure. Toyota of Warren, driven by you. Nestled here in the beauty and splendor of Mill Creek Metro Parks are two of America's best golf courses, as selected by Golf Week Magazine. Ranked number nine in Ohio by TripAdvisor. Come play like a pro on these award-winning Donald Ross designed courses. Enjoy a round with your kids and unwind with your favorite food and drinks in the grill room. For championship golf, look no further than your backyard. Mill Creek Golf Course. Welcome back, everybody. Start of the second half, third quarter, about ready to get underway. Ty Bartel, YSNlive.com, with a call of all the action in this game between the Central Valley Warriors out of Monica, Pennsylvania, and the Austintown Fitch Falcons right here in Austintown, Ohio. Fitch with a 20-7 lead, ready to receive the second half kickoff, and that one got tied up between a couple of Falcons taken in and knocked out of bounds just shy of the 30. And that's where Fitch is going to take over on offense. Central Valley opened up the game with the initial touchdown before 20 straight points unanswered by the Falcons. Took a 13-point advantage into the half. Chance to add on to it. Actually, a pretty big drive coming up to start this third quarter for Austin Town. And defensively, it's big on the other side for Central Valley. The snap, the handoff going on the ground, and that tackle brings down Williams near the 30. Couple yards gained on the play. Second down now. Stayed patient in their approach with Williams today, despite having quite a few of those minimal or no gain Rushing plays mixed in. He has broken away for some five-plus yard gains, too, and he's still managed to be productive in this one. Not much production to be had there as maybe another half yard getting gained by D.J. Williams, but a quick third down brought up on Fitch. Central Valley would love nothing more than to force a quick three and out and get that ball back. Falcons trying to have an extended drive to start the second half. A little bit of time in that huddle. Breaking it is Deshaun Vaughn. Three receivers set. Single back on the right hip of Vaughn. That's Williams. Fakes it to Williams. Rolls out to his right. Vaughn can't find a pass. Has to just spin out of the way. Nowhere to be had. Throws it away. And fourth down coming up for Fitch. As Vaughn rolled out to his right, far sideline of the field, was looking for a target, tried to cut back towards the middle of the field, but Central Valley had sealed it all up, just had to throw it away, force the fourth. As Ruggles has 
showcased a big boot today in the punting game. Trying to flip field position again. Gets that one away. A bounce gets it inside the 40, and it's going to keep on rolling inside the 30. 29-yard line of Central Valley is where it's going to be placed. Nice kick by Ruggles to flip field position. Dangerous, though, as Central Valley was breaking in in a hurry. Almost closed it up all the way and blocked the punt, but able to get it off. Flip it across midfield and force Central Valley to go 71 yards if they wish to hit pay dirt. But an opportunity for the Warriors to get right back to business and nothing to be had there as the play action fake kept it with the back and nothing to be had. Second down. Second down, 10 coming up. Back in for the Warriors, that's Brandon Singleton. Singleton gets the handoffs. They try to pull Singleton back as he continues to mush forward with a couple Falcons on his back. He's only able to grab two yards from the play and third down now for Central Valley. Rutherford takes the snap, looking to pass on third. Oh, hauls it in. That'll be a first down and getting out of bounds. Nice grab, Lucas Jerovac. Getting a tight end involved with that pass play. Central Valley picks up the first and gets close to midfield. They're spotted now at their own 44-yard line. First play back on the ground. Pushing the pile forward. Gets a good gain of about five. Mason Dixon. Setting up triple option. Looking for the... Edge able to get it close to a first, and I believe they have it. First down once again for the Warriors. Very reminiscent of drive number one for Central Valley, getting multiple backs involved. Again on the ground, found an opening, and a tackle made. Near the first down marker once again. Little shy of the mark. Second and short coming up. Back to the ground game, Mason Dixon gets it, breaks that first tackle, reinforcements come to bring him down, but not before he gets the first down. Another one for Central Valley as they keep on pushing the chains forward. Warriors looking to cut into this deficit. Currently trail by 13, trying to get a touchdown back. 7.5 to go, third quarter. Again, a three running back option. The fake, looking for the pass. Puts it on the money, and at the 20, still going. They haven't tackled him yet, and finally bring him down inside the five. Nice tackle to prevent the touchdown, but a beautiful pass. Execution out of the play action. Got enough space and made the Falcons' defense pay. Nice read by Rutherford on the three yard line, two yard line. 
Looking to make this a one touchdown game. They're gonna bulldoze to the side and get in for a touchdown. Make this a seven point game prior to the extra point. So Central Valley in the opening drive of the second half has taken it down to the field for a touchdown. First touchdown since the opening drive of the game. And it has made this a seven point contest. Extra point pending, trying to make it a six point game now. Snap is down, kick is up, and it is good through the uprights. Central Valley makes this a six point game with that touchdown. Jance Henry was the one. Grabbed a hold of it, made his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So the Falcons now leading it by just six. Thwarted on their offensive opportunity, their first drive, three and out. As the Warriors set to kick it away. Back to receive the kickoff, both Davion Pritchard and Dan Evans the third. As the kick away and taken in before going out. Flag is thrown though towards the end of it. And it's against Central Valley. So the kick goes out of bounds. It'll push Falcons a little bit forward. So they'll start with good field position this drive once again at the 35. Two running plays and an incomplete pass. Made up the Falcons last drive looking for more success. A tick over seven minutes to play here in quarter number three. Fitch goes on the ground. Tries to split the defense, able to get some yardage on it. About half the yards needed towards the 40 for DJ Williams. Falcons looking to respond on offense following the touchdown from Central Valley. Warriors would love nothing more than to get their offense back on the field. Faking the pass game, pass into the screen. Brady Evans slips the first tackler, first down near midfield at the 50, he's tackled. Brady Evans getting involved in the passing game, his first reception. Near the midfield marker. The snap, fake on the handoff. Look the pass, now runs it himself. Vaughn gets a stick hit near the 35 as Vaughn gets right back up. The toughness of Deshaun Vaughn unmatched. And he knows how much it's a mental game as well as it is a physical game. You get to see where both those type of games meet with that type of hit. Vaughn pops back up, ready to go, second down and two. Looking for another first. Falcons keep it on the ground. Williams gets to the pile and he says, out of my way. First down, Fitch. Falcons set up on the 41 of Central Valley, pushing their way into Warrior territory.
First and 10 coming up out of the shotgun. The snap, the handoff, the keeper, Deshaun Vaughn, slips the first tackler, splits the defense, takes another big hit, but not before he gets a first down. Vaughn plays like the big hits, excite him, energize him, fire him up. As he goes right back to the run game of his own. Inside the 30 of Central Valley, Falcons looking for that touchdown back. Keep it on the ground, Williams gets the rush attempt. He gets about five yards and half the yardage needed. Falcons, this drive, getting all they want and more on the ground as one of the Warriors slow to get up. So an injury on the field. We're going to take an injury timeout. Be back after this. Before the lights come on, before the workday begins, before a long day is ended, or it's time to have fun, it all starts with the people at Joe Dickey Electric. From replacing a light fixture in your home to building a substation for your business, no job is too big or too small. The people of Joe Dickey Electric power them all. Joe Dickey Electric, over 60 years of powering the Mahoning Valley. Why choose local? Because you live here, work here, learn here, relax here, and celebrate here. 21 WFMJ is our Valley's only locally owned TV station, and our focus is local. Other TV stations don't have that same focus, as their owners are somewhere else. But 21 WFMJ is rooted in the Valley. Local people making decisions that affect your life, right here where you live. Well, good news, folks, is the uh, injury not too serious, able to walk off the field under his own power, and that's what we love to see. No serious injuries we want to see at this high school level for any of the athletes, both here in Ohio or in our friends over at the Keystone State. So, of course, all the best in future health and endeavors, hopefully to see him out on the football field again, but still never want to see any serious injuries to these high school athletes. Falcons. Can't do anything out of the injury timeout as the running play by DJ Williams goes backwards for a yard. Third down now coming up. It would make it a 47 yard attempt. You try it from right here, excuse me, pardon me. 42 yard attempt if you try it here from the 25 yard line. Falcons fake the handoff, looking for play action, some time to throw and miss through it over the head that time. Little high on the release to Dan Evans the third, and lucky it wasn't picked. Fourth down now coming up, but with the Falcons on the 25 yard line of Central Valley, the question becomes, do you attempt the field goal or do you go for it on fourth as this would work the same as a punt? Three forty-one to go, third quarter. Keeping the offense out, Deshaun Vaughn, three receiver set. Williams on his right hip, whistles blown. Timeout is called, and it is the Austin Town Fitch Falcons who elect to take it, leaving them with two and a half. Three for Central Valley. We'll take one as well here on YSLive.com. We sell taste one bite at a time At Valeria Bite into a taste sensation Bite into a taste delight Good food and fun and combination One bite at a time till it's out of sight We sell taste one bite at a time At Valeria HVAC causing havoc? Has your furnace gone mad? Commercial or residential 24-7. Call your hometown hero. Call Coach Parker had a talk with the offense, brought it back out onto the field. 
ready to take the snap, missed snap, Vaughn had to recover, he starts rolling out, toss over his body, across his body, finds the completion, first down, but a flag comes out, and I believe he's past the line of scrimmage when he released it. We'll see if it was an illegal forward pass, but likely the call on the field. We'll get the call on the field. As a legal forward pass, Central Valley gets it back. 331 to go in the third quarter. So the Warriors will take over at the 25. And an opportunity. Excuse me, at the 30. So they'll place the Warriors at the 30-yard line, their own. But a big drive coming up for Central Valley, a chance to tie or take a lead. And a big drive for both teams here. Warriors with the ball, time running out. Snap goes up the middle, they push him back, fight for a couple yards, and it looks like one, maybe two, is what is gained on the first down run. Dog fight, it's been to this point of the game. Sending one into motion, the delayed handoff, tried to just bulldoze up the middle, not many yards to be had, maybe another gain of one or two, third down coming up now. Bringing in a pair of backs in, Mason Dixon and Ethan Shearer. Again with the handoff, tries to bulldoze up the middle. They push the pile back and they will hold the Warriors to a fourth down. See if they go for it. Likely though, with one yard needed for the first. Keeping the offense out there, ready to roll. Rutherford has three options behind him. The snap, the handoff. Oh, got in quickly on the tackle and they're gonna hold him on downs. Turnover, back to the Falcons, and they're in Central Valley territory. How about Dan Evans the third, who had the pick earlier in the game in the end zone. Dan Evans the third comes off the edge quicker than a bullet, grabs and wraps up the running back for the Warriors, and... The turnover on downs inside the 40. Falcons have a chance to get a touchdown back. They run play action. Vaughn slips the first tackler, gets the outside edge. First down and more. Vaughn outside of the boundaries near the 20 at the Central Valley Red Zone. Falcons leading by six, minute 47 to go. Quarter number three. Going to the ground game. Williams, oh, beautiful cut, slips the tackler, walks into the end zone. Second of the game for DJ Williams. As another multi-touchdown game for the DJ. And turn it up with Williams. He's made this a 12-point game.
Falcons extend this to a two possession game once again. Extra point pending to make it a Baker's dozen. Ruggles, two for three in opportunities tonight. Make it three for four. What a line drive boot that was. 27 to 14. Falcons now leading it at a minute 40 left to go in the third. We're going to take a real quick timeout in the change of possessions with the next kickoff coming up after this. You can see these players get to know these names, get to know these coaches at a more personal level than truly you ever did before. And I think YSN has been a big influential factor in bringing us that uh, level of personal connection that we haven't seen any other company truly be able to do. If my legacy goes down as being the voice of the Austin Town Fitch Falcons, I can hang my hat on that and be proud of it at the end of the day. My name is Ty Bartell, and my sports network is your sports network. Going the extra mile in Greenwood Chevrolet means taking care of our local customers. Realizing, number one, that we're here for them. To do anything that would convenience the customer. And every day I'll go the extra mile so they can trust us. That's what going the extra mile means only at Greenwood Chevrolet. Right back here for the kickoff. Minute 40 left to go. Third, qu third quarter here at Greenwood Chevrolet Stadium in Austintown, Ohio. The Falcons with a total of three rushing touchdowns on the evening. Two of them by DJ Williams. One of them by DeAndre Richard. And they also have tacked on a special team score with Davion Pritchard returning a kickoff for a touchdown. That is what separates these two. 27-14 Central Valley getting a Rushing touchdown back in the first quarter opening drive of the game and also a three-yard screen pass touchdown inside the five here in the third quarter. That one taken in near the five. Burst of speed gets him past the 25 where he's ultimately tackled and Central Valley to start right there. It looked like number nine that time, Aaron Lawson on the return. One into motion, that's their tight end. Central Valley goes handoff. A little bit of an opening on that right side and able to just take it all the way for a first past the 40. Nice run that time by Jance Henry. As Jance Henry opens it up with a first down run. A minute 20 and ticking here in quarter number three. Back to that ground game. Trying to follow his blockers. Does a good job to find five on the run. Eats up half the yardage needed for a first. Second down. Five needed, 36 seconds left in the third quarter. The snap, the handoff, the fake, play action, and can't get it up off the ground. On the drop that time, it's Cole Hiltz. And third down now coming up for the Warriors. Clock stops at 29 seconds following the incompletion. Three options, they give it to Dixon. Mason Dixon, grown man run. He's got tacklers in front of him and they finally bring him down near the 30. But Mason Dixon 
had the seize part for him, and he had a huge gap to run through, didn't miss it, and he also carried a tackler in that secondary wave of defense from Fitch past the 30-yard line of the Falcons. In Fitch territory, Central Valley looking to get a touchdown back. Seven seconds and ticking. Likely last play of the quarter. Snap, they fake it. Looking for a pass, rolling out to the right. Opening all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Rutherford to end the third quarter and bring Central Valley back to within a touchdown. Nice break by Steven Rutherford. Rolled out to his right, was looking for a passing option downfield, saw nothing but green in front of him, and turned on the afterburners all the way to the end zone. He's made this a seven point game once again, extra point pending for Central Valley. And that kick is through the uprights and good. It's a six point game here in Austin Town as we head to the fourth quarter and what a 12 minutes we have in store for you. Don't go anywhere folks. Ty Bartell, YSNLive.com will be back after this. As Comco celebrated 70 years in 2022, we have much to be thankful for. We are proud of the Comco culture as we serve our customers with Comco Care with our premier customer service, quality parts, and on-time delivery. The partnerships we have with our customers and our community are second to none. We thank you for your continued support. We are proud to be part of this community and will continue to offer great jobs for great people. Welcome back, everybody. Fourth quarter we go as the next and final 12 minutes in store for us in this one. And whose game is it? Anybody's for the taking right now. Fitch leading by six, set to return a kickoff. But Central Valley coming up with touchdowns and two of their last three drives. That last one to end the third quarter by Stephen Rutherford. Booting it away, hauling it in. Falcons, Davion Pritchard, he had one earlier, he has the outside again. Davion Pritchard slips the tackler to the 40, 35, he's pushed out of bounds, well into Central Valley territory. That speed is just torching the Warriors tonight in special teams unit as Davion Pritchard a touchdown earlier and a big return to set up the Falcon offense here in the fourth. Pritchard again, similar move to what we saw in the first where he faked them all one side of the field and just turned on the accelerator and kicked it into high gear. The opposite side went far side of the field and got a huge gain. Whistles blown dead. Prior to the snap, I believe. No flags I'm seeing on the field. Oh, excuse me. From the back judge, rather, comes the flag. So let's see who this one is on. And it is against Central Valley, so push the Falcons forward a little bit more. Too many men on the field. That's the second time the Warriors have been called for having too many men on the field. Back to the ground game, Falcons. Not much running room to be had as Williams gets the ball past the 30. Close to a first down. Second and three coming up. And an injury coming up on the field. It's on one of the Warriors. We're going to take a timeout as well and get you an update as soon as we come back. Quality? 
customer service and integrity. Those are the four words that have driven our success since 1957 at Joe Dickey Electric. Joe Dickey Electric is one Mahoning Valley landmark business that stays current with the requirements of our customers. Family owned and managed, we are an electrical contractor and energy solutions provider. Every member of our team adds to his or her skill set through ongoing training. Residential, commercial, industrial, automotive, and more. We keep ahead of the needs of our customers with a fleet of more than 50 vehicles and 24-7 emergency service, so you're never left in the dark. What can you do on over 5,000 acres? At Mill Creek Metro Parks, you can discover unique habitats and wildlife, create memorable family moments, experience history, heritage, and park programs, explore scenic landscapes, take time to relax and be well, connect with nature and each other. Come see what's new at Mill Creek Metro Parks. Plan your trip now at millcreekmetroparks.org. Well, folks, it looks like the injury was to number 56, Tyler Constanza, one of the senior offensive and defensive linemen here for Central Valley, but he's actually walking. Actually, check that. Excuse me. Number 96, rather. Or no, that is 56. Correction on myself again. But nonetheless, wish him nothing but the best in his future health and endeavors as never want to see any of our players from any state get injured as tackle. On the second down, Russia attempt brings up third now for Fitch. A minute has elapsed here in the fourth. We got 11 to go. Fitch with a big third down coming up. Under center was Vaughn trying to get one of the Warriors linemen to jump off sides. Now steps into the shotgun. The snap, they go back to the ground game. Williams, nice cut, flips over, and he's going to be a little shy of the first, but likely going for it on fourth. Here is Austin Town. Needing about a yard and a half. And if Central Valley is to stop the Falcons. It would be placed near the 30. Falcons bringing DJ Williams back out. Vaughn set up under center. Might be a QB sneak opportunity here. No, they hand it off. Williams just burst up the middle. He's got the first. And the Falcons will keep the clock moving, keep possession on the Warriors' side of the field and push their, themselves to the 25. Fitch back to that ground game. Williams, nice delay, and now just... Piles forward to get positive yards on the run. Second down coming up. Under nine minutes now to play here from Greenwood Chevrolet Stadium. Vaughn hands off to Williams again. Williams just gets past tacklers all the way to that first down marker. He's got another first. Like Pokemon, he's got to collect them all. As many firsts as he can get in this game. He has another in this drive. Move the change forward. And down to cause the injury and stoppage of play. On the field as a couple Fitch trainers coming out to tend to an injured Falcon. We'll get an update. Just some cramping issues though. Nothing too serious. But nonetheless, we'll get an update and be back after this.
before the lights come on, before the workday begins, before a long day has ended, or it's time to have fun. It all starts with the people at Joe Dickey Electric. From replacing a light fixture in your home to building a substation for your business, no job is too big or too small. The people of Joe Dickey Electric power them all. Joe Dickey Electric, over 60 years of powering the Mahoning Valley. Well, some cramping issues to DeAndre Richard, but he's walking gingerly off the field under his own power. Of course, great to see that from the young man able to walk off the field. We obviously wish him the best in his future health and hope to see him back out there as soon as possible. We have eight minutes, 36 seconds left to go here in quarter number four. Falcons with the ball first down as they're inside the Central Valley Red Zone, stationed at the 15. Vaughn, the handoff, up the middle, Williams just carries people into the end zone. The hat trick for DJ, his third of the game. Grown man strength is what DJ Williams possesses. That bulldog frame. And it doesn't matter if you get to him before the end zone. He plans on carrying you into the end zone with him. Touchdown Falcons, 33-21, Fitch in front, extra point pending. At this point, Falcons looking for two. They'll take it, roll out to the right, back of the end zone. They complete the two-point conversion. So they get that awkward six-point game off their chest and make Central Valley have to do it the hard way. Two touchdowns with two extra points converted. But nonetheless, a 35-21 Fitch lead. 8-16 to go here in quarter number four. Central Valley football when we come back. We believe expectations are made to be exceeded. At the new Toyota of Warren, it's about more than just getting a great deal. It's about service you can count on and a friendship you can trust. Year after year, we've done what we do best. We've gone the extra mile so you could too. Because we know it's just not about buying a new car. It's the start of a new adventure. Toyota of Warren, driven by you. Welcome back, everybody. Fourth quarter, 8.16 to go in this one. Anthony Ruggles ready to boot it away. Set up at the Austin Town, 40. And the kick squibs all the way to the 10. Falcons trying to stop the special teams play, but a nice gain nonetheless past the 30. As I believe the return man on that, Jance Henry, able to get a nice chunk of yards and set the Warriors up with good field position. 8.09 left to go in the game. As the Warriors... Don't have time on their side right now, and they need a touchdown. A snap, go up the middle. Oh, big run coming up. I don't think they're going to catch him. Mason Dixon booking it for the end zone, and he's in there for a touchdown. A big response run by Mason Dixon, and he gets right back at you with six. Big run for Central Valley, and they ate up only about 15 seconds off the clock to get it. Mason Dixon with the touchdown, extra point pending.
as the kick, good, splitting the uprights. It's a one touchdown game. 35-28, Fitch in front, 7.56 to go. We go to a timeout with another kickoff coming up after this. There are four members of GoldenStringRadio.org that works for your sports network. Super Dave, Kristen, Scotty, and myself. And if you love our work at Golden String, Isle, and Purple Cat, you are going to love the soon-to-be-open Cava Camp out at Barbara Casey's Ranch in Floydsville Township. It has all the nice, beautiful scenery, will feature cabins, and a whole lot of other great outdoor stuff. I'm Radar Pavlov, and my sports network is your sports network. We insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Benjamin Schur to be kicking off for Central Valley here in the fourth quarter. 7.56 to go. A touchdown separating these two squads. As the squib kick, they have to fall on it near the 20. And the Falcons will start at the 20 as Junie Higgs jumps on it. Falcons looking to take time off the clock while also separating themselves from the Warriors some more. Central Valley looking for a pivotal stop in this game. 7.56 to go, a touchdown separating them. Fitch with the ball and the lead. Vaughn takes the snap, goes handoff, and not much running room to be had. And in fact, a loss of maybe two yards on the play. Second down and long coming up. Falcons, three receivers spread wide to the right of Vaughn. Vaughn goes screen option to Dan Evans, the third, not running room to be had. Third and long coming up now. Big third down coming up. Central Valley looking for a stop to get possession back. Falcons want a conversion. They need 11 yards. They need their own 30. Williams in the backfield with Vaughn. Three receivers to their left. Vaughn rolls out to his left. Pass on the money, but only eats half the yards needed to the 25. Fourth down coming up. So a quick three and out stop by Central Valley will bring the punting unit on for Austin Town. As that kick, another nice kick by Ruggles. Takes some friendly bounces and he will spot it all the way at the opposite 20. So from 120 to the next, a huge punt by Ruggles will force Central Valley to take it the length just about to get the game tying touchdown. Five minutes, 48 seconds remain here in quarter number four. Central Valley, an opportunity to knot this one up. If they can hit pay dirt this drive. Huge drive coming up. All the drama you can ask for for week two of Friday Night Lights here in Ohio. Ruggles. 
running game. Tried to get the outside. Falcon reinforcements there to shut it down after a gain of a yard, maybe two. Second down. As Donovan Bell Sullivan in on the tackle that time. Five and a half in ticking. Out of the shotgun, the snap back to the ground game. Back up the middle, trying to push bodies forward. They will to get it half the distance needed for the first. Third down, though, coming up. left. The third down running play. They get to him in the backfield. Toalo him up. Tackle him shy of the marker. It's fourth down. They need about two to three on the play to get the first. Turnover on downs in this situation would really put the pressure on Central Valley's defense to try to get a stop. And decisions, decisions time here. Offense has not left the field. They're just huddling. Ready to try to pick up a big first down. Falcons looking for a stop on fourth. And trying to get one of the Falcons to jump off sides. They aren't going to do it. Timeout taking Coach Lyons. And they're going to have to talk it over before we see this big play at 3.55 in the fourth. Ty Bartell, YSNLive.com, back after this. Craftsmanship to us is 60 years of pride and dedication. Passed down from generation to generation. The hardwood floors that your kids take their first steps on. The solid wood doors you quietly close at night. The things we create day in and day out are the products that end up turning your house into a home. At Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, uncompromising quality and craftsmanship built our business. And it will keep us moving forward for generations to come. Big play coming up, fourth down for Central Valley. The handoff, looking for the first. Falcons pushing back. I don't think they got it. Let's see where the marker is, but I think it's a turnover on downs. No, inside, they're calling the first down. It's the near side official, the line judge, that says move the chains. And it's an agreement across the line. First down, Central Valley, they're still alive. 3.43 and ticking. Fresh set of downs for the Warriors. Into motion, the handoff, up the middle, not much, about two, maybe three. Let's see where they mark them. Central Valley using one of their timeouts on this drive. Both teams have two left in the game. Second and six, Warriors, keeper, nice breakout, trying to tackle, and they do shove him out of bounds near the 50, but first down Central Valley as the quarterback keeper by Rutherford. And one of the Falcons slow to get up, and injury going to be a stoppage of play at three minutes left in this game. Central Valley at their own 48, looking for a game-tying touchdown. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're going to be right back. Yeah, we getting all fired up. Getting ready for the players when they line up. Think it's time we go and get them lights up. Let them high school lights ignite us. Cause we fighters coming with a hot hut like this, coming with a pick six like that. Gonna be a showdown so big. Think it's time for football night to impact. The 30th anniversary of the Great Clips Overtime Report. 
Friday nights on 21 Sports. A drama-packed eventful fourth quarter. Three minutes left on the clock. Central Valley trying to tie the game up. Needing 52 yards to hit pay dirt. They're going to get a couple more needed as they cross over the 50 now in Fitch territory with second down coming up. Five yards gained on the play. Two thirty-five left in the game. Warriors need a touchdown. They take the snap, go up the middle again, and once again, trying to push the pile, not down yet. Ball is loose, picked back up, and tackled. I believe that's going to be close to the first down marker. It was a fumble that was recovered by Central Valley's Jaden Underwood. But third down coming up, third and very short, about a yard needed. Final two minutes to go in the game. Falcons trying to hold on to this one. Three options again. The handoff, the first down near the 40 at the Falcon 39, minute 49 left to go in the game. We're going to set up for a wild finish in this one at Greenwood Chevrolet Stadium. Clock ticking. Two receivers each way for Rutherford. The snap, the handoff fake, roll into his left, finds an opening, squeezes through to get some yardage. Gets tackled in the field of play, shy of the first down marker. Clock keeps running, minute 20 in ticking. Two timeouts left for each team. We'll see if they get utilized. 70 seconds and ticking in this game. In the shotgun, three receiver set, two and one left and right. Looking to the left over the middle, pass goes nowhere, incomplete, and it looks like some miscommunication that time between Rutherford and his coach Lyons as that pass wasn't going to get connected with anyone and maybe even a missed route by one of the receivers as well. So that brings up third down and four. Not all bad for Central Valley. It has stopped the clock a tick over a minute. They still have the two timeouts left. Third down coming up for the Warriors. No doubt four down territory the rest of the way to the ground game. The quarterback keeper sneaks out of bounds near the 25. First down, Central Valley, 56 seconds on the clock. Twenty-five yard line. Warriors set up. Need all 25 to hit Pater. Back on the ground, found a seam, tackled inside the 20, inside the Fitch red zone. Clock continues to tick away. Warriors trying to leave the Falcons with no time left in the fourth. They want to make this a tie game and head into OT. Or have the opp opportunity for the two-point conversion if they can get it. Close to a first. I believe they got it. They do at the 15. 31 seconds to go. And a timeout taken by the Warriors. What a game we have in store for you in this one at Greenwood Chevrolet Stadium in Austintown, Ohio. The Warriors taking their second timeout of the half, leaving them with one. Fitch has two. Falcons leading at 35-28, but the Warriors are inside the Fitch red zone with 31 seconds left to go here in the fourth quarter. It has been back and forth all game, but the Falcons, after taking an initial lead back in the first quarter, have held on to it all the way into this point of the game. As the Warriors would have the option, should they get a touchdown, to go for the tie or for the victory. What a game it's been. Both teams keeping it on the ground primarily, mixing in a couple of passing plays, but 
it's been a lot of old school fundamental football that you've seen between these two squads. 31 ticks to the title winner. Central Valley at the Falcon 15. The snap, the fake on the handoff, play action coming, looking for the end zone, it's a bouncer, no good, incomplete. Five seconds come off the clock, 26 it reads on the game clock here in Austin Town. Falcons, DJ Williams, three rushing touchdowns tonight. He's been a big time playmaker. Dan Evans the third, an interception, a big tackle on fourth down to get a turnover on downs. He's been big on the defensive end. But it's been Steven Rutherford that's been causing havoc for the Central Valley Warriors and he gets rid of that one to avoid the sack and force a third down. Falcons wanted a fumble but it was a forward pass attempt, tried to get it to the screen in that flat and it falls incomplete. Third down now, 21 seconds left to go. Central Valley with the one timeout, Fitch with two. Warriors need the Falcon five for a first. Third down, the snap, but before the snap is taken, whistles are blown and the Falcons want a timeout. They'll use one of their last two at 20 seconds left to go in the game. So this one gonna come down to a couple of final plays in the Falcon red zone. And what more can you ask for for this brand new bleachers opening here at Greenwood Chevrolet Stadium, opening night here for Austin Town and an alumni night as well. So for those who stuck around to watch the game following the alumni night tailgate party that occurred before the game, they got themselves quite a treat in store. And for our Central Valley fans that made the trek over and are actually watching with us right now on the network. We want to say hello to you. Thank you for hanging out with us and hope you enjoyed the ride. Maybe you'll think about having YSN Live involved at your school as well as the Falcons and Warriors. Looking for a winner in this week two matchup for Austin Town. Actually a week zero matchup for Central Valley. 20 seconds to go, third down. Needing the Falcon five. Rutherford out of the shotgun, takes the snap, scans the field, looks to the back corner of the end zone. It's in there for a touchdown. Oh, are you kidding me, Quinn Connolly? The junior receiver hauls it in near side corner. And it makes this a one point game. 14 seconds to go on the clock. Central Valley, extra point to tie it, two point conversion to lead it and whistles to be blown time out taken by the Warriors and coach Lyons wants to have this conversation on what they're going to elect to do they can go for the tie they can go for the lead the only caveat is regardless of what you elect to go with there is still 14 ticks on the clock and one timeout left for Fitch now we've seen crazier things happen too in this sport and for Coach T.J. Parker and the mind he has on the offensive side, he could think of anything. Of course, folks, in the PA area, if you are unfamiliar too, we do have an overtime quarter here. It would be, I believe, a seven minute. Central Valley bringing the offense out, looking for the win, looking for the two-point conversion to try to take the late lead here in the fourth. They pitch it outside and getting through for the two points. Central Valley back in front, 36-35. Couple Falcons slow to get off the field. I believe an injury on the field. And it's Donovan Bell Sullivan, the Falcon tight end that is, that is down. 
Far side of the field, looks like some cramping issues. Also, it looks like one of the Warriors down as well. So injury timeout. We still have 14 seconds left to go on this game. But Central Valley with a late lead, 36-35 over Austin Town. We'll be right back. Everything you need to find a vehicle you love is right here at Greenwood Chevrolet. I'm Tracy, and I have the tools to make buying a car you love easy. Browse our inventory in person or online and find a vehicle that's right for you. Next, I'll get you approved for financing that works for you. Then, drive home in your new vehicle. I'm Tracy, and I have the perfect plan to help you drive home in the perfect vehicle. Find a vehicle you love only at Greenwood Chevrolet. Welcome back, everybody. Kickoff coming, 14 seconds left, and a timeout in the pocket of T.J. Parker and the Falcons, trailing by a single point to Central Valley. We'll see if they actually attempt to kick it away or just squib it. Likely don't want to get any of the Falcons involved, and that one going to just go out of bounds and kick out of bounds, going to move Fitch up the field. 14 seconds to go still. And the Falcons would need to get into field goal range, which for them means likely inside the 30. And the Falcons elect for the penalty to be enforced on the kickoff, so they back Central Valley up to the 35 and are going to make them kick it again. And this is smart play by Parker as they're trying to get the kick returners to be not involved in the game, but if they keep kicking it out of bounds, Parker will just keep enforcing the five-yard penalty and make them kick it from deeper in their own territory. So it's got to be a decision of either you want to kick it off or you want to squib it in this situation. Sure, back to kick it for the Warriors. 14 seconds left. And they do elect to squib. Have it picked up inside the 20. Makes the first move and gets out of bounds near the 35. Three seconds off the clock as the Falcons need a big play and a stop. Have that one timeout left, but they need to have almost two perfectly executed plays to get this one. Central Valley with a whale of a last second drive and a two point conversion as the cherry on top. Vaughn with 11 seconds takes the snap looking to pass. Going to uncork the arm and it is tipped out of the hands of the intended target. Five seconds left. At the 35-yard line of Austin Town, Falcons. Likely not enough time to get a field goal opportunity. They're looking end zone. This is the last play of the game coming up. The snap, the fake on the handoff. They go the short way, get out of bounds quickly at two seconds. 
push it to the 45 and give a little bit better of a chance at taking a shot towards the end zone. Now this will be the last play of the game at the 43 yard line. Going to come down to this. Two ticks left on the clock. And before we get it, we got a timeout. Last timeout being used by Austin Town. Both teams completely out of them. We're going to have a winner decided after this. Going the extra mile in Greenwood Chevrolet means taking care of our local customers. And it's just a great feeling to put them in a vehicle and get them all excited about a new vehicle. At the end of the day, our goal is to be someone our customers can count on. And every day I'll go the extra mile for the community so they can trust us. To do anything that would convenience the customer or make them feel more at home. Realizing, number one, that we're here for them and that we're not going to go away. That's what going the extra mile means only at Greenwood Chevrolet. It all comes down to this. Two seconds left. Central Valley back deep, ready for the Hail Mary. This is where you see all the funky stuff come out. Falcons go short, dump off. Going to look to go lateral is what they're going to have to do to avoid the tackle. They toss it back, hit it off the helmet and keep it alive. As now looking for somewhere to go, Pritchard tosses back to Vaughn. Vaughn tries to give it, can't get the lateral off. It is taken out of play as Central Valley comes back to stun the Falcons by a final score of 36 to 35 and can Fitch their first loss of the season here in this one. But you really got to give it up to not only the quarterback Stephen Rutherford, but also the play of Quinn Connolly. Quinn Connolly making that that game tying, well, I guess the game saving touchdown grab in the back corner of the end zone with the waning seconds ticking off in the fourth. And then they go for the two point conversion and nail it down to nail down this 36 35 win. What a game! What a fun one to be in attendance for! What a fun one to call! And what two great football teams that competed here at Austin Town, Ohio tonight as Central Valley been a pleasure to be working with these folks here great hospitality by the kind folks over at central valley and we wish the warriors nothing but the best of luck as they look for another state championship in the state of pennsylvania that'll do it though for us tonight folks here from austin town ohio i'd like to thank you all for tuning in and watching this broadcast of football on ysnlive.com to our proud owners both dj yokely and brian scott who were able to bring this game to each and every person unable to make it in attendance tonight to our gm steve leslie with his work with bob scene park baseball ysu football and ysnlive.com the many hats that mr leslie wears and we thank him for each and every single one of them and most importantly to all of you who tuned in and helped support Support these kids, schools, and communities. You guys are really and truly what YSN Live is all about. And so we thank you. If you were tuning in from Monica, Pennsylvania, supporting the Central Valley Warriors, we want to thank you for tuning in, getting your first taste of YSN Live, and hope you enjoyed the ride. And want to remind you that YSN is a completely free service to high school. So if you want to find out how to get YSN involved at your school, contact your school's athletic director or contact us at info at ysnlive.com. Or if you're right here in the Austin Town community supporting your Falcons, we want to thank you for your continued and constant support of not only Austin Town Fitch Athletics, but also YSNLive.com or wherever you may be in the sport of high school football. This is Ty Bartell bidding you all a farewell and a good night, everybody. YSN thanks you for watching this presentation of your sports network. For stories, stats, and more, go to YSNLive.com.